You guys sick and tired of me yet? We're back. We're going to start... Let's do this one next. This is my uh, Watto's Junkyard Sword of the Jedi. This one's cool. This one's unique. I love this saber. Um, this is Janus Solo, um, Han and Leia's kid, one of Han and Leia's, Han and Leia's kids in the Expanded Universe. Um, really quickly became a favorite character of mine um, because of what she does, who she is, the way her story plays out. Um, it's just really cool. It, it's really nice to see um, that this design is readily available. Um, I think there's this saber's only been done by a handful of people, small handful of people, um, which is unfortunate because this thing is sweet. Um, and there is actually a little bit of background on this guy, um, outside of the usual TCG cards or concept art or something like that. Um, this is actually modeled off of a statue that came out years ago, um, I think in the late aughts, maybe, um, early teens, uh, would have been early teens, I think, because I remember seeing it at a local comic shop and wishing that I bought it, uh, and like an idiot, I didn't, um, but I did get one later for a lot more money. Uh, here it is. I don't exactly classify myself as a weeb, but sometimes, why not? Uh, this is the Kotobukiya Jaina Solo uh, Bishujo statue. Really cool. Really nice, unique piece. Um, obviously, her and her flight gear. Um, she was an X-Wing pilot, um, as well as a Jedi Knight. Um, but really, really nice quality statue. I'm very glad that I have one in my possession. Um, but back to the lightsaber. Um the Sword of the Jedi was, or Sword of the Force, I think, um, was actually modeled off of the statue's lightsaber, which is this little guy here. Tiny. Tiny, tiny, tiny thing. Try and get it to focus a little bit, which it's not going to do. That's okay. But, yeah, I mean, it's modeled off of this little guy right here. Um, just for a comparison on how well it was modeled. Right? Right? There's that little guy. Right there. But this guy. Right here. Very nice. Very glad to have this in my, uh, in my possession. So we'll go over it. Very nice machining work on this. Um, very, very nice machining work. Um, nice, comfy, slim hilt. Um, I mean, very, very slim, right? Like, I can get damn near a whole fist on this thing. And I don't have monster hands. Um, really nice, solid blade depth. Um... And as far as I know, I was the first one to install one of these. Wasn't the first one to do a video on it, but I was the first one to install it, I think. Maybe. Probably. I think I was. Uh, which is cool. I mean, it, it's not much, but it, a little bit of bragging rights, right? Um, control box, really nice and easy. It's got these little nylon screws that actually you can unthread in it sets the tension on this, which is, I mean, really a nice design. Um, the LEDs right here, these little acrylic LEDs are your buttons. They're uh, plungers, um, activation and auxiliary. Little cover tech knob, unfortunate, but it does match the model. I'll keep it. I will cope and seethe until I die, but I will keep it. Um, the chassis is my design, um, and the only reason that I was the first one, probably, to get this installed is because Solo Sabers is 
on a vacation. Had to get it done before he got back because I didn't know if he had one of these on his bench. Had to be. Um, but going into the chassis, there is uh, some different Greeblies on this one. I went for kind of an X-Wing inspired back end for the speaker. Try and get that in the light a little bit. There we go. But it's got like little notches the same way the uh, X-Wing engine does. Um, my Luke Greebly, the little power regulator Greeblies, and then this guy up here was just kind of playing around the shapes because I found Nerf Herder Customs chassis dressing up video thing, and I wanted to give it a shot. I think it turned out okay, but there is definitely some improvements to make. I mean, I'm not going for like these super wild Tim Tierfon style chassis, uh, mostly because I'm still using FDM and I just can't get that fidelity that I want. Um, but I do have a little R2 head right here. It's just a overview of the dome um, because she was a pilot. Um, and I've got the Rebellion New Republic symbol right there as well. Um, and on the side, I've got Jaina Solo and Sword of a Jedi on that side. I didn't do Sword of the Force because her title in the New Jedi Order was Sword of the Jedi. Um, and I wanted to keep in line with that. Let's throw a... Oh, and this is <clears throat> not a 28 millimeter speaker, unfortunately, because this does just... It just doesn't have the room for it. Um, so I will concede with that. With a smuggler, smuggler's outpost, I think this is a 22 nano elite speaker, um, but it still sounds killer. I mean, all of the smuggler's outpost's speakers are insane. They're so nice. Um, Linky's fire up. There's two stock uh, lit PCBs for the Blinkies. Uh, green is power, red is auxiliary. Um, the lights do something different when the blade is on and when the uh, font is changed. Um, I try and keep things as unique as possible um, just because I can I mean, do whatever you want, you know. Um, it is a nice tight fit for the chassis, which I always try and do, um, but it threads on just fine. Mates up where it should. Here we go. Yeah, sort of There's your font change. This is Mad Cow's um, Sword of the Jedi font. Uh, I think he calls it the SOTJ or something like that. But there are two versions. One is just a standard lightsaber. Yeah, sort of and Jedi. one is with the Yuzhan Vong which if you read the New Jedi Order, that was like the the enemy to end all enemies kind of thing. It is a little bit quieter than most of my other ones, just speaker size, sound resonance, that kind of stuff. Um, because this one has the hidden sound venting in the pommel, which is nice, but I like that. I like that sound. The future is clouded. Make your choices carefully. So this is a Luke font. Uh, this is Kyberphonics Luke. Um, I went back and edited a lot of the voice. Actually, I think I edited all of the voice clips on it. Um, and I ripped the voice clips from uh, Jedi Academy and Jedi Outcast. Because that's really the only post Return of the Jedi Luke that we get that's not in book format or audiobook. Um and, I mean, the guy that played Luke in those games was phenomenal. He did great work. And, and I think he was actually Luke in all of the Star Wars video games. I could be wrong. But... Um, you get that nice Luke sound. Force effects. Great one. You think you can take me? Kyle Katarn. Leia. Hey, if you want to do business with the slug, it's none of my concern. Mara Jade. General Grievous. You're shorter than I expected. Grievous, just because I love the font. 
actually no blade plug on it it's just a whole emitter which is nice um i like that you unthread it i don't like that the uh retention screws are actually in the holder um but that's a-okay honestly um it is a swappable emitter cap Throw a blade in here, and this does take a 7 8 inch or 1 inch. There is a blade reducer in here, which is a nice touch. I like that you can swap them out if you so choose. Um, I need to find what I did with my X key. Y'all ever just sit down and forget to. Grab the stuff you need. I'll be right back. Problem solved. This is a tight. So with this one, you probably get a sanded blade, which I've got a few that are sanded, but naturally I grabbed the wrong one first as it goes. So thread your blade in. The blade adapter just threads right over the top, drops down, threads on. Real nice and easy. Super nice threading on this. Nice magenta blade. Because in the books, that's what she carried, was a magenta blade. I like this thing. This thing is so fun to swing around. It is small, light, it's very, very light, very slim. The 7 8 inch blade, you can just go wild with this thing. I sense a disturbance in the force. But... Yeah, and that's my sort of force. It's a great saber. Um, if there are still any in stock, I really recommend trying to get one, trying to check it out. Um, just in my belief, anytime that you can uh, support the pre-Disney expanded universe, um, those characters, those memories, that kind of stuff, um, you should. I mean, there's, there's a lot of very rich designs there um, that are just so unique and so cool. Um, but anyways... Uh, I think we're going to stick with the uh, free Disney EU for the next couple of videos, um, which means I'm back to the display case. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video. See you in a bit.